In this video, we're going to find the f prime of 2 for the function 1 over x using the limit definition. And so let's start by reminding ourselves of the limit definitions. We're doing f prime of 2, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all over h. Now, let's do this in steps. Our first step is going to be to plug in our function but not do any simplification. So step one is going to have limit as h approaches zero. Now we're going to plug in 2 plus h any place there's an x in our function, so f of 2 plus h becomes 1 over 2 plus h. f of 2 is 1 over 2 all over h. And there's our first step. Step number two. We're going to find a common denominator to help us simplify this thing. But we're not going to do any simplification past that. The common denominator is going to be the product of our two denominators. So when we put that together, we need to multiply this one by 2 over 2 and this one by 2 plus h over 2 plus h. So what this next step will look like when we're done is 2 over 2 times the quantity 2 plus h minus 2 plus h over the quantity 2 times the quantity 2 plus h. And then this whole thing as we remember, is still all completely over h. And there's the end of step two. Step three, we're going to write these over the same denominator in the numerator. We're going to keep the h on the bottom. So we have limit as h approaches zero. And so now I'm going to write this as a single numerator. So two minus the quantity 2 plus h all over our common denominator which we have said is 2 times the quantity 2 plus h and then that's all over this lone h on bottom and there's the end of step 3. Step 4 we distribute anything we need to in the numerator so that we can do some canceling. So here's step 4 we have a limit as h approaches 0. I only need to distribute this negative, so I have 2 minus 2 minus h over 2 times 2 plus h. And now we could write it all over h, but let's write it as 1 over it, multiplied by 1 over h. And there's the conclusion of step four. Now we'll go on to step five, which is going to be our simplification. So up here we have that the twos will cancel. And notice what else is going to happen now. We're going to be able to cancel an h out between here and here, so that gives us a negative one. So we're not going to take the limit just yet, so this is step 5. We have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 over the quantity 2 times 2 plus h. Step 6, we take our limit. That's plugging in 0 for h, and we get negative 1 over 2 times 2 plus 0, which simplifies down to negative 1 fourth. 